Yo, good morning everybody, Charlie checking in. Happy Monday to the whole world. Hopefully you have a great, wonderful day. Hopefully you had a good Father's Day. And... Oh, snap, hey. We got us a little rabbit. Good morning, Mr. Rabbit. You gonna get you some breakfast? Did you have a good Father's Day? Hmm? Anyways. Mr. Rabbit's taking him a little breakfast break. I'm gonna leave him alone. I ain't gonna mess with him. So uh, hopefully y'all having a great day and uh, not much going on today. So let's see what we can get into. Dang it. No more bananas for breakfast. God, I just had to eat a couple sugar cookies. Mmm. You're getting a little stale. Minutes left. I really like my fruit for breakfast, man. Oranges. I have oranges. Boom. Oranges. Look, nature pre-slices the oranges for you. Mm. Oh, that's tart. Also, I want to show you guys. Cool pickles. We're going to put these packs, and we're going to put it into this damn quarter pickles, add a little bit of sugar, and we're going to let it sit in the refrigerator for a week. What's going to happen is uh, the dye and the sugar is going to soak up all into these pickles, and it's supposed to be a sweet, savory flavor, and also with an amazing color. So it's a big thing in Memphis. I don't know if y'all eat, if, if you're from Memphis and, you, and you've tried these or not. Somebody said they lived in Memphis all their life and they never, they never even heard of them. So, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make some cool liquids this week. They should be ready probably Saturday. Hey yo, quick thing, guys. I'm counting my money up right now. Blip, 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 blip. Counting my money so I can go to Family Dollar and get some stuff for the next few days. <laughs> Toilet paper and stuff like that. Um, I don't get paid till the 21st or 23rd. So, uh, uh, what I wanted to get with you guys real quick is I mentioned something on Twitter and Facebook just now. Uh, about maybe visiting the old Charleston jail this weekend. I hear it's kind of haunted. I've seen it on Ghost Adventures. Uh, I might try to get a friend to go with me. If not, I'll do Uber deal. Uh, if y'all want me to go see this old Charleston jail and, and do some, some some vlogging and footage around the old Charleston jail this weekend, give me a like. All right, so my favorite shorts are still a little wet right now, so I got them in the dryer. <laughs> so they're drying off right now. Um, play some some Horizon Zero Dawn until they're good enough, and then I'm walking to Family Dollar to get me some roaches. Someone once told me the world was gonna roll me. Ain't sharp as two and shit. They were looking kind of dumb with their finger and a thumb in the shape of an eye on their forehead. You guys over there feet. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there feeding his ducks or whatever. Like, what the hell is that guy doing? He's like, you can't be a farmer. Think I'd be a farmer, man? See how I'm dressed, bro? I'd be like the opposite of crawl from son-in-law. Say, so, hey, I like my way fakers. Oh, I'm about to get run over. Oh, sorry, honey. Say, so, hey, I like my way fakers, huh, man? A little cheap, little cheap three-dollar sunglasses, brother, man. Somebody was like, yo, man, those are some, yo, bro, where'd you get the Wayfarers from? It's like, Walmart. When they start selling Wa Ray-Bans at Walmart, they don't. So those aren't Wayfarers then? Nope. They're Wayfakers. Get it right, brother. All right, so I was going to go to Family Dollar over there, but Walmart has the better deals, obviously, and not only uh, better deals, but I guess it's better variety so uh we're going to shop at wally world fucking in hell wally world last time i was here man i don't think i even remember being here so i got myself some orange cream waters what we got here cherry limeade fiji apple got us a hydro cup of thunder i'm gonna get and my favorite stuff in the world boom schneider's bread some pizza they broke the mold when they made this stuff, and uh, I love it. Love it so much. So. Ooh, something nice. 
Okay, so I'm balling on a budget right now. I got 20 bucks, and let's see what I got here. That is four, S2, six, S2, eight, these are 50 cent a piece, nine, 10 bucks. I'm halfway there. Halfway broke. Just when I want to try these two right here. I want to try some of these. I'm good. But 258. <laughs> Can't afford it. Put the Buck Wild chips back. Okay, balling on a budget, balling on a budget, balling on a budget. I need some sugar. Here we got sugar for $1.60. And then we got 256 for Domino. So now. I don't know about y'all, but that's a no-brainer. Dollar sixty versus two fifty-six. Uh, I'm saving like a dollar fifty, so I'm going. For, I'm going with the sugar. I'm going with the cheap stuff. Just saved a dollar eighty-five. Falling on a budget. On a budget. Okay, so I don't have a microwave or a refrigerator at the house, so <laughs> anything that I want to eat, I have that kind of. It has to be non-perishables. What have you so here we go right here these are gonna be my saving grace all this stuff right here but you know me you know exactly where i'm going to the hot and spicy now i can do this like like old jailhouse style man i get a couple of these hot and spices uh you just put the water in it set it somewhere for about 10 20 minutes let it get swole you know what a swole is you my homie uh you let it get swole um uh, and then eat <laughs> you really don't it doesn't need to be hot water so uh yeah uh, ramen noodles in a bowl, you are my saving grace. Love it. Falling on a budget. Here we go. Mm, medium peach salsa. God, I'm in love with this peach and mango salsa now, man. I do not know why. Uh, do you gotta have it micro, uh, do you gotta have it refrigerated once you open it? <laughs> Let's see here, I'm not sure. Um, rats. I'm gonna get it and try anyway. Thanks, Newman. Newman. Oh my god, I don't know. That's my favorite stuff in the world. This right here is uh, something new. Uh, ooh, I know that Bridget really likes that mango and I like it too, man. Yeah, they, I went over to her house and had some tacos the other day and that mango salsa was terrific. But oh, I love my white corn and black bean. Uh, let's just try new things. Okay, I figured since I'm balling on a budget, man, I can go ahead and make some of my breakfast burritos minus the eggs and plus some Hormel chili with beans. Gotta have with bean. If it ain't with bean, I don't know what you eat. Some of y'all like, like, I don't know what the hell you eating with them damn breakfast burritos. Hey, balling on a budget. Beanies. All right, let's get our wraps for the burrito. Oh, we go. Man, thinking about it, bro. When I first remember, when I first moved back down here to Charleston, man, and I was uh, barely getting any hours at the temp service, man. I was trying my all. Here we go. Let's go with these small ones. I was trying my all, everything I could, man. And uh, had like eight dollars on me, and I went to Dollar General. And uh, I remember, like, I was doing. I, w I wasn't rolling in dough in Columbia, you know, but I was doing fairly well, man. And uh, I didn't have to worry about it. I could just walk in the store and just get what I wanted and that was it, you know? And I was here, sitting here in Dollar General and I was I had like $8 and I'm deciding, you know, what, do I need this salt? You know, I was just looking at the salt, like it's, it went like two bucks, you know? Not even $2, like a dollar. And I was just like, do I need this salt? You know, and I'm just like, damn, where has my life become? Where has my life come to, you know? And just, man, just thinking about how bad I messed things up, you know? And, uh, it just feels good to be able to try to, you know, I, don't, I still don't have much. Now I'm walking around with 20, you know, you know, but hey, man, it was a step up, you know what I mean? So it feels good, man, you know, and uh, I feel like I'm feel like I'm on the right right, right track, guys, right, guys. And, uh, I feel, you know, I got my whole mall twisted, man. I feel like I'm on the right track now, and, uh, you know, it's thanks to all you guys and, you know, just wanting to decide to change my life, and, and uh, you know, it just feels good, so. Okay, so decision time, decisions we have to make. I have enough left to keep the sugar or get some peanut butter and a loaf of bread. So I think I'm gonna put the, the sugar back and get some peanut butter and some bread. I think that'll last longer, I think that'll do me better. I can just drink water. I've got a few of these and I've got my drink mix right here. So I guess the no brainer would be to put the sugar back. So put the sugar back. 
Okay, so yeah, there we have it. We're gonna put the sugar back. Boom, sugar. And I got a loaf of thin king slice. It's the best you can get, or the cheapest, the most you can, most you can get for your money. Dollar six, and I got the peanut butter, dollar thirty. So that is uh, what two two forty one or something like that. So uh, we're in. Uh, I got rid of took that back to so dollar sixty. So I just spent like maybe like an extra forty cent or so for a bunch of peanut butter sandwiches. Michael's got me some honey, so. I'll, uh, I'll have honey, honey and peanut butter sandwiches. I'm also gonna put back this monster energy drink that I got right here. Saw this from my dudes, ooh, saw this from my dudes at Two Dudes Reviews. I was gonna try it, but uh, $2, two dollars, two dollars is two dollars. So I'm just gonna set it on back. Yeah, wrong spot, but sorry. <laughs> I'm broke, what do you expect? Let's be balling on a budget, brother. Okay, so that also saved me a little bit of room for some toilet paper. I gotta be able to wipe my butt. We're gonna go with this dollar forty-seven freight value. Oops! Oh, no. <laughs> look at this, sixty-eight cent, brother. Jailhouse style. I can get these, boy. I'll be good. I'll be able to make damn uh, uh, chess chess pieces out of it. All kinds of stuff. Dice. Wipe my butt, man. All kinds of things, brother. That's what's up. So. That's it, man. You know, the only thing, the only thing frivolous I think I really got for myself was my pretzel pieces. But um, you know, I guess uh, we all got we all got to splurge a little bit, right? So let's go check this out. Hopefully, I'm under 20 bucks. Okay, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Uh, pineapple mango. You ever forget something? Look, I, I think I put this back accidentally. I got all my stuff on the register. <laughs> I ran all the way back here anyway. Doo -doo -doo -boo -boo -boo. I'll be like, yo, you better put your hands off. Nah, I'm playing. Hopefully I don't I don't I don't I don't make somebody late. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, let's get this over. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what the damage is. Alright, so here we are. Got it all scanned up, bagged up. Guess how much I got? Guess. Boom, baby. Right on the money. So tell me I'm not a smart shopper now. This is gonna be funny because look. I got $14 in bills, and the rest I've got in this sock right here. <laughs> Let's pay for it. <laughs> I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm paying a coin star. May I have my nickel back, please? I need it. Yay. Thank you for shopping. Oh, they give me a quarter. So there we have it, by the skin of my teeth. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Thank you very much. You have a great day. So here we are, we made it, man. Balling on a budget, got pretty much everything I needed, got what I needed, maybe not everything I wanted, but that's fine. How you doing, sir? And also, gotta show you, man, I made it with some change left. I might be able to get me a couple dollar burgers from McDonald's, and I'm gonna grab me a 50 cent soda from here, man. So, you know, try to remember your surroundings, remember what you got at home, remember your surroundings. Uh, Cause like I said, I was gonna buy a soda in there, but I remembered it was 50 cent out here, so, uh, uh, yeah, thrifty is a life form, man. I'm, a, I, you know, getting out here on my own, man. I'm gonna have to learn how to do it, bro. So, here we are, man. Thrifty living, baby. Balling on a budget. Ah. So there we have it. 20, uh, 20 some odd bucks later. I got my food. I got two double hamburgers uh, for two sixty something, and then I got a free sprite. They gave me a free sprite after we negotiated what kind of, what kind of purchase i'd be able to afford <laughs> so man thank you gotta be thankful for the kindness of strangers man i remember one time uh it was by the fox movie theater where i first saw Nin ninja turtles movie man i'll tell y'all about that later but um there was this uh, there was this homeless man right and my mom saw him and she got a sandwich and a, and a soda for me to give him right and we rode up to him and I walked out to give him this damn sandwich and a soda and this freaking cop come walking up on me and he's like, no, don't you give him that, you know, and I got all scared, you know, and I dropped the sandwich and the soda in front of the, the homeless dude 
And I jumped back in the car and, and, and we sped off, man. And I felt like I, I committed a crime, you know, just because I gave this this, this homeless guy, you know, a, a sandwich and a soda, man. I'll never forget it, man. That moment on, man, I kind of had a bad a taste in my mouth for, you know, police and stuff like that, you know. And just for the fact that, you know, this man was hungry, man. We weren't, we, it's like we were giving him money. He wasn't, and he didn't ask for a thing, you know. We just rode up and gave it to him. I really, I really hope, I always wondered, you know, if that cop let that homeless guy, if he let him keep that food, man. That was crazy. Mom, I love you, dude. Mom was always like that. She would always help a stranger or a stray or something. Uh, you know, mom was a very compassionate woman, you know. She's a little hard on us, but she was very compassionate to others. And uh, I think I got a lot of, of what, you know, my emotion and caring and stuff, you know, from mom, so. Oh, my shirt's in the way. Oh, shirt move. I gotta tell y'all about this shirt in a minute. Oh, let me just, oh, let me stretch for a minute. Ah, woo, how's that? So I think I did pretty good. Now, like I said, I get paid between the 21st and the 23rd every month, uh, which is just a couple of days from now. As I was walking, I was thinking, you know, Charlotte, you know, you could have just, you know, had a couple of decent dinners or something with this. But the way I'm looking at it is long term, you know. Just imagine if I wouldn't get paid, you know, uh, uh, how would I live? And uh, like, like I said, you know, I'm not a millionaire, so I mean, I ain't no hundred thousand there, nothing like that, you know. When I hit the road, I'm not going to be rolling in the dough, being able to do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, I'm going to have to maintain a budget. And uh, this is the way, you know, this is the way I need to start living. So, uh, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm, uh, I got my mind right. So, got me a couple of double hamburgers. Like you see, check it out. Two double hamburgers, a uh, dollar, a uh, dollar, 30 each. And she gave me the drink for free. That was so sweet of her. So, wow, thank you very much. Let's get this stuff up. Thing is real. He <laughs> got rain on his loafers. Bye. <laughs> I'm dumb. Hey, that, that's our fisherman guy. He's gonna take dad fishing. We, we. All right, take it easy, brother. We'll see you fishing in a little while. Guys, I, we met the craziest dude alive, and we're, we're, we got to throw him and a he's video. a real-life Mr. Magoo. <laughs> dude, he told us something. He burned out like a forest. <laughs> <laughs> he almost destroyed Michael's. Michael's dude. He almost destroyed your, your stairwell. We were comparing this guy to like one of the Police Academy characters <laughs> where like accidents happen around him. And that's what was happening while he was here. And then we got to get him. Yeah, we're going to watch the video. He fishing was fell in the water. <laughs> we filming this dude. His fucking shoes are fucking... He wore, he's wearing cupcake socks. Did you see that? You farted. <laughs> Did you fart? 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 He's like, I'm done. He's gonna give me his ass and fart on me. So let's do this dang thing. Let's do the dang thing. Dinner time. We're gonna go with some hot and spicy shrimp. All right, so, like I said, ball on a budget. Oh, hold on. First, let's negotiate this lid off without compromising the bowl. So, let's add my seasonings. See, we got a little bit of uh, everything in there. I can't really tell you. But it's real stuff. It's real, kid. If it's really real, son, let me know what's real, son. If it's really real, I want about the dehydrated shrimp. I need some hot water. I guess the hottest water is gonna come from the shower.
Alright, that's what I have to do. Fill it up to the line. We're going to cover it up. Can you see me? All right, here comes the crucial part of this whole operation, okay? I'm going to show you all this and I want you all to pay very close attention, okay? We're going to take our noodles with our water in it, warm water, go put a plate over it, we're going to let them sit and swell. Oh, shit. I got a little bit of rain coming. Still waiting on my noodles to uh, uh, swell up. So let's read it. They begin. The perfections are sharpened. The flower spreads its colored petals wide in the sun, but the tongue of the bee misses them. They sting back into the loam, crying out. You may call it a cry that creeps over them, a shiver as they wilt and disappear. Born down in a dead man's town. Alright, so I come back in the house and... Dun, 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 dun. Son of a bitch! Somebody said something about wiring, said that if the switch is up and stuff, you know, that it could still be faulty wiring, man. Somebody else told me that, that that's not true, though. Well, let me know what y'all think. Also, let's see how our spicy noodles is looking. How spicy, spicy. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't have a fork. <laughs> Give no forks. No forks given today. Got a spoon, though. A spoon. So, got our booster pack. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Grilled chick, chick. I had it wrapped up, so I don't think it's rancid. Okay. All right. All right, now I'm going to do something here that I guess kind of goes against what I'm about right now. You know, because I'm trying to show you how to be able to make it without a refrigerator and microwave. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> there we go. Newman. Oh no. Oh no, baby. Slim no. All right. For a little garnish, my most favorite thing in the world, the jalapeno pretzel pieces. And we'll just garnish on top here. That's a treat. Make us a peanut butter sandy to go with it. Oh, that's too much peanut butter. Alright, that's we'll work it out. This kind of reminds me of like the the school lunches. Y'all remember them uh, uh, at, at, at lunch, you know, they would sometimes it would serve when it was cold. Uh, beef stew and then the peanut butter sandwich with the honey. <coughs> oh that was my junk, man. You can never find it, you know. I found this one stuff called the Bee's Knees. We're gonna get it, man. It's close enough to the to the school's uh, peanut butter and honey, but it's not the same. You know, I used to take my damn peanut butter sandwich and I dip it into my damn stew, like so. Mm. Dinner.
<laughs> Not too great. <laughs> ah, no. Maybe I shouldn't have put the salsa in it. Definitely needs to be heated up. <laughs> I need a microwave. I get paid in a few days, I'll get a microwave. Whew, that's not, I don't advise it. All right, everybody, there we have it. Balling on a budget, didn't end too well. Uh, I bet that food would have been a whole lot better had it been heated up, you know, but uh, uh, you know, cold noodles like that is just heinous. So <laughs> uh, I tried, yeah, so. Mike and Bridget, they're on their way out to get some uh, Swedish meatballs, so uh, ain't gonna go too hungry. <laughs> Gotta get a microwave though, so thank you all for watching. I want everybody to check out my man, uh, 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 Paul Greeley, Greza, at uh, Live Local Rock TV, man. Uh, he just he just asked me to give him a shout out, and I checked it out, and it's really cool, man. He, uh, he has people come in to the, the studio, and uh, local groups and local bands and stuff, and talk about their story and their music and stuff, and it's really interesting, man. It's really cool, so y'all check him out, man. Paul, he's been a really good guy. I think he's out there in Boston. We're going to come check you out there soon, man. And also speaking of Boston, while we're at it, man, my man, uh, uh, Schizo Broad TV, man. You got to check those guys out, man. My dude, my dude, Kenny, he's having a little problem right now, man. So, uh, you know, he, want, he just wants uh, everybody, you know, he want, he he asked me to give him a shout out, man. So, y'all go check him out, man. They're really good, really good guys, man. I, I played with him on GTA a lot, you know. I haven't been able to play here lately, man, so... When I get my Wi-Fi back, I'm going to hit you up, man. Y'all go check it out. Skits of Raw TV, man. Uh, and y'all have a great evening. Thank you all so very much for watching. 98,100 and some odd thousand strong. Raise the roof, guys. You are so damn awesome, man. I'm about to get that butt tattooed. <laughs> about to get Dad's face on my butt for all of you guys, man. So thank you very much. I'm going to come sit down here and just finish reading my book, Stephen King. Eat my damn... My my uh, jalapeno pieces and things, and wait for some uh, for some Swedish meatball noodles. So thank you guys for watching. I'll holler at you tomorrow. Peace.